Unveiling the vibrant world of a groundbreaking series from the late 80s, Murphy Brown captivated audiences with its unapologetic wit and a pioneering lead character navigating the realm of broadcast journalism. The show revolved around the eponymous character, a tenacious investigative journalist embodying resilience, ambition, and unyielding determination. Notably, the series tackled pressing social and political issues while exuding a refreshing authenticity in its portrayal of the media landscape. Many viewers found resonance in the show's sharp commentary on societal norms and workplace dynamics. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to blend humor with pertinent topics, creating a timeless narrative that continues to resonate with audiences today. The dynamic ensemble cast and Murphy's charismatic persona contributed to the show's lasting impact, earning it a place as an iconic symbol within the industry. What personal tales do you carry from encountering this influential series? Has Murphy Brown's journey left an indelible mark on your life or perceptions? Share your cherished memories and experiences as we eagerly await your stories in the comments below. Remember, the legacy of this series lives on through the narratives it sparked and the impact it had on its viewers. Let's celebrate those moments together. Murphy Brown emerged in the late 1980s as a groundbreaking sitcom that followed the life of its titular character, a sharp-witted investigative journalist working for a news magazine called FYI. The show, created by Diane English, offered a fresh perspective on a single, career-driven woman navigating the professional and personal spheres of her life, breaking stereotypes along the way. With its distinctive blend of humor, topicality, and a fiercely independent protagonist, the series gained prominence for its portrayal of Murphy Brown's unapologetic pursuit of journalistic truth, often at the expense of political correctness. The ensemble cast, including the quirky yet lovable team at FYI, added depth and humor to the narrative, while Murphy's relationships and clashes with authority figures brought both comedy and poignant moments to the screen. Notably, the show addressed real-world issues and controversies, culminating in a memorable storyline where Murphy's decision to become a single mother sparked national debate. Murphy Brown left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing discussions about feminism, media ethics, and the changing dynamics of working women, solidifying its place as a trailblazing series that redefined the role of women in television. Throughout the series, the challenge of finding a competent secretary became a running gag. A total of 93 secretaries rotated through, each listed by number in the credits. Among them, Marsha Wallace's efficient portrayal from the Bob Newhart show stood out. In a memorable twist, a support group for these former secretaries was unveiled in one episode, showcasing their shared struggles in handling the job. Another intriguing crossover occurred with the appearance of Candace Bergen and the show set on Seinfeld, with Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David reciprocating on another series. Diane English, the creator, even made an appearance as a doctor in the season 10 finale. These interwoven connections and recurring gags added depth and humor to the series, showcasing its enduring appeal and creative storytelling. Enjoyed a three-year 1989-92 ratings high when it aired back-to-back -back with Designing Women. During this period, the show experienced a significant surge in viewership, capitalizing on its slot alongside the popular series Designing Women. The strategic scheduling contributed to a remarkable increase in audience engagement, solidifying its place as a formidable contender in television ratings. This alignment with designing women undoubtedly bolstered the show's visibility and audience appeal, marking a pivotal era in its successful run. The concurrent airing with designing women served as a catalyst for Murphy Brown's heightened popularity, drawing in audiences and retaining their interest over a sustained period. The synergy between these two shows created a television block that captured the attention of viewers, fostering an environment where both series thrived. This ratings peak underscored the undeniable resonance and connection the audience had with the content and characters of Murphy Brown, establishing a notable chapter in its television legacy. The collaboration with Designing Women stands as a testament to the show's impact and ability to captivate audiences during its peak years. After receiving her fifth Emmy Award for the role, Candace Bergen declined all future nominations. This decision, unprecedented at the time, spoke volumes about her commitment to the character and her desire to move beyond accolades. It signaled a sense of closure, a pinnacle reached, and a deliberate choice to let the role stand tall in its own right. Bergen's portrayal of the sharp-witted journalist left an indelible mark, evident in her desire to let the character's legacy speak for itself without further award recognition. 
Her decision reflected a rare blend of artistic integrity and a profound understanding of the character's impact on television history. Candace Bergen's choice showcased a unique aspect of her dedication to the role. It wasn't a dismissal of accolades, but a deliberate step toward preserving the character's significance beyond the confines of award ceremonies. The five Emmy wins solidified her portrayal of Murphy Brown as iconic, and her decision to step away from further nominations cemented the character's stature in television history. It was a defining moment that highlighted the depth and impact of Murphy Brown in the realm of TV series. The show's success didn't solely hinge on awards or nominations. Rather, it was the culmination of exceptional performances, groundbreaking storytelling, and a character like Murphy Brown, brought to life by Virgin's exceptional talent. This move by Virgin, declining future nominations after a record number of wins, added another layer to the show's narrative, emphasizing the significance and lasting impression of a character that transcended traditional recognition. In season four, episode 26, the show took a bold step when the lead character had a child as a single mother. This sparked a national conversation after Vice President Dan Keel criticized the portrayal, claiming it promoted the decay of family values. The show's response was swift and direct, featuring Keel's remarks in the premiere episode of the following season and mocking them throughout. The controversy not only highlighted societal debates, but also showcased the series' willingness to tackle contentious issues head on. This iconic moment in television history exemplified the show's commitment to sparking dialogue and pushing boundaries. Candace Bergen, known for her role as the series' lead, revealed in an interview on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen that she once dated Donald Trump. Bergen described him as a handsome douchebag during their time together. This revelation adds an intriguing layer to the actress' personal history and brings forth an unexpected connection to a prominent public figure. Such revelations often offer glimpses into the lives of those involved in beloved shows like this one, shedding light on their experiences beyond the screen. Jim Dial, a character from the series, reportedly drew inspiration from the renowned television news reporter Jim Jensen of New York City's WCBS-TV. The resemblance between the character and the real-life figure adds depth to the portrayal and underscores the show's efforts to create authentic and relatable characters. These insights into the personal life of the actress and the inspirations behind character development contribute to the multifaceted nature of the show, showcasing the intersections between fiction and reality. As we bid adieu to the fascinating world of wit and journalism that unfolded within the realm of Murphy Brown, take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own memories. Was it the razor-sharp humor that left an indelible mark on your laughter? or perhaps the resilient spirit of a certain investigative journalist that mirrored your own triumphs. In the tapestry of television history, Murphy Brown stands not just as a series, but as a mirror reflecting our own narratives, challenging stereotypes, and celebrating the resilience that defines the human experience. As you sit back, enveloped in the echoes of Murphy's newsroom banter, allow yourself to delve into the resonances of your own life. How did the show intertwine with your journey? What anecdotes linger, etched in the recesses of your mind? This isn't just a finale. It's an invitation to revisit your connection with a series that was more than just a sitcom. It was a companion through the ebbs and flows of life. Share your musings, your laughter-tinged tales, and the reflections that sparked in the glow of the television screen. Let the dialogue extend beyond the fictional newsroom and into the real narratives that shape who we are. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey with us. Your reflections make this finale not an end, but a continuation of continuation of the conversations sparked by Murphy Brown. Your stories, after all, are the threads that weave the fabric of our collective TV memories. Appreciating your time and the stories you bring to the table, thank you for being part of this narrative.